A songwriter is a professional that writes lyrics or composes musical compositions for songs. A songwriter can also be called a composer, although the latter term tends to be used mainly for individuals from the classical music genre and film scoring, but is also associated with writing and composing the original musical composition or musical bed. A songwriter that writes the lyrics, words are referred to as lyricist. The pressure from the music industry to produce popular hits means that songwriting is often an activity for which the tasks are distributed between a number of people. For example, a songwriter who excels at writing lyrics might be paired with a songwriter with the task of creating original melodies. Pop songs may be written by group members from the band or by staff writers, songwriters directly employed by music publishers. Some songwriters serve as their own music publishers, while others have outside publishers. The old style apprenticeship approach to learning how to write songs is being supplemented by university degrees and college diplomas and rock schools. Knowledge of modern music technology sequencers, synthesizers, computer sound editing, songwriting elements and business skills are now often necessary requirements for a songwriter. Several music colleges offer songwriting diplomas and degrees with music business modules. Since songwriting and publishing royalties can be substantial sources of income, particularly if a song becomes a hit record, legally, in the U.S., songs written after 1934 may be copied only by the authors. The legal power to grant these permissions may be bought, sold or transferred. This is governed by international copyright law. Songwriters can be employed to write either the lyrics or the music directly for or alongside a performing artist, or they present songs to A&R, publishers, agents and managers for consideration. Song pitching can be done on a songwriter's behalf by their publisher or independently using tip sheets like Rofax, the Musicro publication and song quarters. Skills associated with song writing include entrepreneurism and creativity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Staff writers. As a creative writer, the author of private work includes rights agreement in terms of service, declares releases any creative commons from liability of expressive performances bearing similarities in any connection with unrelated party of experiences of instances, relieves indifferencies can bound parties by arbitration legal court of law, in the form of contract agreement as a songwriter, also a publisher can appoint a duty of publication of copyrighted works for staffs. Being a staff writer effectively means that, during the term of the songwriter's contract with the publisher, all their songs are automatically published by that company and cannot be published elsewhere. In the Nashville country music scene, there is a strong staff writer culture where contracted writers work normal, 9 to 5 hours at the publishing office and are paid a regular salary. This salary is in effect the writer's draw, an advance on future earnings, which is paid on a monthly basis and enables them to live within a fixed budget. The publisher owns the copyright of songs written during the term of the agreement for a designated period, after which the songwriter can reclaim the copyright. In an interview with Hitquarters, songwriter Dave Berg extolled the benefits of the setup. I was able to concentrate on writing the whole time and have always had enough money to live on. Unlike contracted writers, some staff writers operate as employees for their respective publishers. Under the terms of these, Work for hire agreements, the compositions created are fully owned by the publisher. 
Because the recapture provision of the United States Copyright Act of 1976 does not apply to works made for hire, the rights to a song created under an employment contract cannot be recaptured by the writer after 35 years. In Nashville, young writers are often strongly encouraged to avoid these types of contracts. Staff writers are common across the whole industry, but without the more office-like working arrangements favored in Nashville. All the major publishers employ writers under contract. Obtaining a staff writer contract with a publisher can be a first step for any professional songwriting career, with some writers with a desire for greater independence outgrowing this setup once they achieve a degree of success. Songwriter Alan Eshwiss described his staff writer contract at Universal Music Publishing as a starter deal. His success under the arrangement eventually allowed him to found his own publishing company, so that he could keep as much publishing income as possible and say how it's going to be done. As musicians Songwriters are also often skilled musicians. In part, this is because the process of working out a song or arrangement requires a songwriter to play an instrument, typically the guitar or the piano, to hear how the chord progression sounds and to hear how well a given set of chords supports a melody. In addition to selling their songs and musical concepts for other artists to sing, some songwriter musicians create songs to perform themselves. Songwriters need to create a number of elements for a song. At minimum, a songwriter must prepare a lead sheet for a song, which consists of one or more pieces of sheet music with the melody notes and chord progression indicated on it. The songwriter may expand upon the melody and chord progression by adding an instrumental melody which may occur before or after the vocal melody, or alongside the vocal melody and creating a more complex song structure e.g., verse, chorus, bridge, instrumental solo section, verse, etc. Topic producer, songwriters with recent technological improvements, a songwriter can now create commercially viable music almost entirely on their laptop. This technological advancement has made the producer, songwriter role a much more popular occurrence. Perhaps because the role of producer isn't generally understood by the public, the average listener doesn't know when an artist also takes on the role of producer. Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys is one of the earliest and most widely known examples of a songwriter-turned-music producer. Within two years of the band's commercial breakthrough, Wilson had taken over from his father Murray, and he was the sole producer of all their recordings between 1963 and 1967. A beatmaker is a songwriter who creates and composes music or beats for a song, often laying the groundwork or musical bed. Then a composer who specializes in melody will create the top line for the track. Tools typically used are keyboards, drum machines, soft synths and digital audio workstations. Beat makers or composers aren't necessarily record producers by definition or acting role since they generally do not work directly with an artist in a recording studio that oversees the production and recording of the final product. However, record producers can be involved in co-writing songs as the composer wearing two hats as the producer and songwriter as they may write and compose the original music such as the beat and then oversee the production that takes control of the recording sessions with the artist and engineer all the way down to the mix stage. They are referred to as record producer, songwriters as they generally receive songwriting and production credits for both roles. 
This is especially true for R&B, hip-hop producers in urban hip-hop production, when composing the original music as the co-writer is integrated into their traditional role as a record producer, such as Rodney Jerkins, Dr. Dre, Timbaland or Pharrell Williams, opposed to a rock producer that may rarely contribute as a co-writer of a song. Topic: Singer-songwriters. Many singers also write songs for themselves, and as such, they are usually referred to as singer-songwriters. Topic: Co-writing. When a song is written by more than one person, it is co-written, or written jointly or in collaboration with another author. Co-writers create songs in different ways. Some co-writers use a stream of consciousness approach, throwing out every single line or word or rhyme that comes to them. By letting ideas flow, this generates potential lyrics and song structures more effectively than trying to writing the song by discussing options. Co-writing can help two creators with different talents and strengths to create a new song that neither could have been able to devise if they were working alone. The first step in co-writing is to establish the division of the contribution between co-writers. In copyright law, there is no distinction of importance between the lyrics of the song or the melody of the song, therefore each writer is given ownership equally over all of the song, unless another agreement is arranged. Phantom. Songwriters are those who provided small contributions to the song, such as a band member who suggests a line for a verse or a session musician who informally proposes a chord progression for a coda. Once a songwriter is acknowledged as a co-writer on the project, this is almost impossible to undo, so, phantom, songwriters are not usually given credit. Top-liners A top-liner is a songwriter who writes a song over a pre-made beat. Top-lining differs from songwriting in that the writer is not creating a song from scratch, but rather creating lyrics and melodies over an existing music genre, tonality, harmony, rhythm, and form of a song. In modern commercial writing, it is a common practice for the musical track to be produced first without any vocal melody or lyrics. This is partially due to the rise of portable music production equipment and digital audio workstations that are designed for the swift arrangement of electronic music, such as Ableton Live. The top liner usually is also a singer, and will sing over the track as the demo singer. If the song is for a particular artist, the top liner may sing the demo in that artist's style. Topliners often work in groups to co-write. Sometimes producers send out tracks to more than one top-line writer so that the producer or singer could choose the best option. Since the track is the same, melodies by different writers can sometimes be very similar. Occasionally, the producer might choose a few lines of melodic or lyrical ideas from one top liner without properly crediting or paying them. These situations sometimes result in legal battles over ownership of the melodies or lyrics. There is a way to prevent such legal battles. A songwriter can commit their intent to make a song, which prevents any of the parties ripping the song apart. Some artists send out a legal disclaimer making clear that if their melody isn't used after doing a top line, it reverts to them, and the track back to the track writer. <laughs> 